Big day today. What is it? It's Thanksgiving, and so what do we do today? Great answer. We give thanks. I was thinking somebody might say we eat. Yeah. Do you have a big meal plan for today? Yeah, what are you going to do before you eat? What do people usually do before they eat? Especially in the church. You know this, right? What is it? You pray, yeah. You say grace, right? Yeah, no, I was putting you on the spot. That's okay. With all the cameras on you and people watching, all millions all over the world watching you, you might get a little, yeah, a little uh, verklempt here. We do. We say grace. And at the end of a meal, many, many Christians say these words. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. That's a great thing, thing to pray at the end, especially on Thanksgiving. In fact, that phrase comes from the Psalms. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy, or for his mercy, endureth forever. And one of the Psalms that we're going to read together today is Psalm 136. You and I are going to do this, and everybody here as well. I'm going to read the first half of the verse, and you're going to read the second half of the verse. And you don't need the words for this, because it ends, each verse ends the same way. For his mercy endureth forever. Can you say that with me? For his mercy endureth forever. Very good. So I will point to you guys when it comes time for you to say that, and that's something that we can remember today on Thanksgiving. All right? So let's do Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sion king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever. And hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Did you get tired of saying that over and over again? Yeah, we, get, we do sometimes. But actually, we should never get tired of giving thanks to God. Certainly, we should do it way more often than one day a year. Because God never gets tired of loving us. We heard in the psalm that he did lots of different things. And he does new loving things for us every day. And every one of the things he does for us out of love is because one time, Jesus came and died on the cross to forgive us our sins. So that in everything we do, everything that happens to us, not just on Thanksgiving, but every day, we can say, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let us pray. Repeat after me, please. Dear God, we thank you for all you give us 
especially Jesus, who loves us with an everlasting love, for his mercy endureth forever. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Thank you.